Good afternoon again to those of you who are not in the school drive. You finished school some time ago, or perhaps you're still at school, but you're not actually at school. Well, here we are, still with the lion cubs now. My name is James Henry. We've come back to the den site. Three of the more adventurous ones have been popping out and playing a little bit on the rocks there. And then we're just waiting. We found the other female down there. Two females at the kill. So we're going to just sit here and wait for the happy reunion that will occur when eventually the lionesses wake up from their sort of um, engorged uh, stupor, I suppose, of eating themselves silly. And then, hopefully, they will feed on these cubs and playtime will ensue. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to wait right here where we are. Please do talk to us using the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Otherwise, you can use the comment section of the YouTube broadcast that you're watching. And, um, well, we'll probably do a couple of Facebook Lives if the lioness has returned to this area. And then you can talk to us using the comment section of whatever social media platform you happen to be watching. It's wonderful to have you with us. You're welcome to ask us any questions. If you weren't with us this after this morning, well, I will tell you we had a wonderful time here. Uh, exultant, kind of, uh, well, nerve-wracking at some stages. We had the two, uh, well, we came here very early on. We waited for two hours and before, eventually, I said, that's it, let's go. And Fergus said, wait, I see the lioness. And one of them came over the hills joined up and withdrew all nine cubs from this den site here and they went down uh, we looked like she was going to try and take them to the kill but halfway there they seemed to either get tired or she got bored or hot or whatever it was and there was a rather nerve-wracking time during which the half the cubs decided no to hell with this we're going back to the den and they turned around and they just left the lioness and came scampering back here completely out in the open broad daylight on their own, very dangerous behavior. The other two lionesses were none the wiser. They remained gorging themselves on the zebra that they killed last night. And eventually we came back here and we found that the uh, seemed like the majority of the little cubs had gone back here and were back in the den. Two of them remained with the lioness who had originally come to fetch them, two from different litters, they were definitely different ages, and the two lionesses that were eating remained on the kill, and that's how we left the situation this morning. Now we've come back here, two lionesses still on the kill, one lioness lying in the shade away from the kill, halfway to it, and then the cubs back here in the den. That is the situation that has uh, unfolded so far. Now, Molly, I don't know the answer to this question. You say, <laughs> it's a wonderful picture. Did all nine cubs make it back here? I don't know, Molly. Uh, two of them were with the lioness that came to fetch them. They remained with her uh, sort of until until we left them. We th are hoping that the other seven got back in here. I don't know if the other two then came back here during the course of the day. I'm not sure what happened. We eventually had to go and, uh, well, have a bit of a clean-up and some breakfast. And so we just come out now again, and I'm not sure what happened there. So, Molly, I'm afraid I can't tell you, but with any luck, that will be revealed. And I'll just quickly show you, uh, basically straight over the top of my left shoulder is where we will hopefully have sight of the two lionesses coming eventually as the light starts to fade. All right, let's head back across to Jamie Patterson, who's in roughly that direction, a bit to the right-hand side. She seems to also be having a bit of a cat fiesta. <laughs> 